Thank you all for coming. So last year, we said, geez, our 10th anniversary is coming up next year, and it happens to be on 10 10 10. So what do we do about that? And, um, and we thought, well, in addition to the other things uh, that we had on the table, why don't we hold a worldwide design contest? Um, and uh, so we brainstormed about what that might look like and what it might be. And we said, OK, let's have a contest where in each country that we, in each country in the world, uh, allow people to submit a design that had the 10th anniversary logo, our 10th anniversary logo in it, a uh, picture of our 10th anniversary product, and, and the name Tivoli Audio in it, and, and see what people came up with. I'll start by showing you number three worldwide. The judges thought that this designer, who's a, a, um, an Ecuadorian living in London, got, in, in our opinion, uh, uh, the essence of the simplicity of the product. So number two is an entry from Italy. Um, you know, I was personally sorry that number one wasn't, but um, Italy came in number two anyway, uh, as we often do. Um, anyway, uh, Alessio Bioscotti is, uh, uh, worked with the uh, Polytechnical Institute in Milan. He did a very nice job of sort of bringing, once again, the simplicity of our design into a sort of cityscape that would fit nicely on that, uh, on, the, uh, on the billboard. First prize winner as a young designer from Malaysia, uh, living in uh, Australia. And um, uh, so uh, he, he, uh, he will win the first prize. And as of, um, well, tomorrow weather permitting, because they can only put up these things uh, with the conditions allowed because it's a huge billboard. But tomorrow, weather permitting, uh, his design will, will uh, grace Times Square. So it's really kind of fun to have gone from this dreary room in Switzerland uh, over a year ago to actually knowing that tomorrow or the next day, the design winner is going to go up. And, and once again, um, I think this design was, was picked overall because of, uh, of its ability to, to use that curved surface in a way that um, um, allowed a three-dimensional effect from really just a two-dimensional sort of traditional billboard, but uh, that stays up through the, through the end of the year until the ball drops. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.